This is a video from last summer. Uh, just a fairly common scenario. I have a tree beside a pool, uh, beside a fence. Um, it's got a back lean, but we have lots of room. For a second camera. He's always bugging me about cameras. Um, we have lots of room to flop it, pulling it against the lean. Uh, so we're going to set up the... Uh, That's the third camera. The third camera. <laughs> set up the five to one, the fiddle block, which is my favorite form of, of mechanical advantage. On camera in three angles. So this house is uh, right on, right beside a conservation area. And there was an officer there earlier this morning who had stopped in to talk to us. Um, and just confirmed that the homeowner had the right to uh, to take down this one tree because it was really close to the property line. Um, this is a hickory, uh, so I know that the fibers can be trusted. You know what I mean? I know that it's going to hold on the whole way as it comes over. Um, you can see I, I did a really big uh, open face notch here. So basically, I sunk a line into the top. Then we set up the five to one, uh, we pre-tensioned it, and I've already cut the, uh, the open face notch, right? So now everything's ready to go. I come back around and I make my back cut. Okay, hang on. Yeah. I'll come over and help you. You don't want to put any wedges in? Uh, yeah, good call. Wedges are always a good call. Don't break my wedges, Pat. <laughs> These wedges are literally perfect. <laughs> Never been used. <laughs> Only for minor Alaskan milling. Uh huh. Miner is right. Yeah. Alex got a he, he got a Alaskan mill attachment for his his saw a couple of years ago, but he hardly ever uses it. So he's got these brand new wedges in his Start truck. Start pulling now. That. Start pulling now. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I made my way, you know, the long way around. Right. You, don't, you never want to walk underneath the path of where the tree could fall, obviously. So here we are on the fiddle block, and we're just pulling it over. Yeah. We're pulling together, you know, both of us at the same time. We're really doing it, aren't we, Harry? <laughs> 50 points in the comments for anyone who knows what that's about. All right, great success. Great. So I'm just gonna pause it there. So um, what I skipped over in this video is how to set up the actual fiddle block five to one. Uh, so I do have a clip of setting it up from a different, from an older video, also from last summer. So why don't we just go ahead and take a look at that real quick. All right, so we'll, we'll just uh, hit reverse on the old playhead here. <laughs> it's an interesting audio. All right, so this is working with Dave. So you just take it apart here. Again, so from you, last if summer. If you put it away properly, it's gonna be stored like this in the, I would call this like the fully retracted position. This is as small as it gets. Um, so it requires a beaner on either end, as well as an eye to eye. And I like to throw on a micro pulley as well. So. Um, this is the anchor end here. Should probably be using steel beaners, boot, to be honest. Pull from, this would be the, the forward end. This would, this end is going to face towards the, uh, the load. Although and to be fair, five to one. as far as I know, the, the fiddle block so itself I'm, is I'm using a, an anchor here Maybe with a porter wrap. This just gives me more options. You don't necessarily need a porter wrap, but it's nice to have. So Dave, if you just take this. Just gonna pop it out of the cam and then just walk backwards and you'll fully extend it. Yeah, I definitely <clears throat> prefer the porter wrap as so my anchor. So before you start working at the five to one, you always wanna fully extend it. And make sure you have a stopper knot on the end of it so you don't lose your rope, okay? Very important. So there's point. it, fully extended. <clears throat> now we're just gonna join it to our load line. Now this way of attaching the, the five to one to the load line. This is something Hold that I actually second. learned online. So I just use uh, a, and I really crossing. love this technique, especially when you're working by yourself. So it should be like seven wraps. This technique of using the micro pulley. Right. And then what I'll do is I'll get the micro pulley. So I, I set it up like, like a climbing system. 
and you don't have to do it this way I just prefer it this way okay so there's my five to one on the load line now Dave if you take this load line and walk that way that will take all the slack out of the system okay get it nice and tight there you go okay so that is our starting position that's a fully extended fiddle block now if you grab the tail there okay and then walk this way with it and now you're tightening up okay so why it's called called a five to one is you have five legs of rope that you're pulling you're you're pulling on the load line with five legs of rope so it's multiplying your force your pulling force by five but the trade-off for that is you have to pull five times the distance so every one foot of rope that you pull here is sorry every five feet that you pull here is moving one foot on the load line okay so get that nice and tight <laughs> And you do, should, lose, you do lose quite a bit to friction, so it's never an actual five to one. I should probably just help him but there. But it is a nice. <laughs> Let's do one more. Oh, there okay. you go. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So I've uh, I pre-cut my notch, and now we've pre-tensioned this. Um, I like to pre-tension it enough to keep it from going the wrong way, but not too much because it can lead to problems, like barber chair. Uh, yeah. Never want to over-tension something. That is a very okay. important point. So I'm going to cut the uh, advantage. make the back cut and then I'll step away and you should be able to pull it over okay so that's the full setup for the five to one which takes us right back to where we started back here beside the pool cutting the hickory over okay finish your back cut go to the five to one and just pull it over Awesome. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you can get some value out of that. Uh, the five to one, the fiddle block, like I say, that's it's, it's probably my favorite form of mechanical advantage. Uh, I use it all the time. It's just quick and easy to deploy and, uh, and I love it. So listen, I just really, really appreciate you guys uh, as part of this community with Educated Climber and, and the support has been amazing. So thank you so much for being here. And until next time, fist bump. <laughs>